Melody and I are at the Cranberry, Na the U.S. National Forest Cranberry Visitor Center. The Nature Center is right in here. They're closed on Tuesday and Wednesdays. Of course, today's Tuesday, so they're closed. There was a worker over there, and uh, he had told us that the Cranberry Glades Boardwalk is open. This is the botanical area. This is the Visitor Center, Cranberry Mountain Nature Center, they're calling it. And um, <clears throat> so we're going to go back and we're going to do this Cranberry Glades botanical area. There's a boardwalk that goes out there. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi, guys. We hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. I'll show you a better sign here in a minute. But we're also doing the Highlands Scenic Highway. Um, this is a, this, they have pullovers along this highway. In fact, the entrance to this highway is right across from the visitor center on this, this uh, Route 150. And it'll take you all the way to the Tea Creek Campground. That's the lowest point. And then back up the other side. And we're camped over here in, in Marlinton. So we're going to make a big loop after we do the... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, it's a boardwalk that takes you out into the Cranberry Glades Botanical Area. That's a very short drive from this visitor center. Let me take you over and show you the... They have a better map over here on this side. Okay, so we're gonna be coming down in here. This is the Cranberry Glades Botanical Area in the Monongahela National Forest. There's a parking area here, and this is a boardwalk that will take you out here. And they were renovating that, and it was closed for a while. Of course, that's what it said online, so I just asked this gentleman uh, that works for the Forest Service, and he said it was open. So we're going to take a drive down there right now and go explore this. It appears the Cranberry Glades Boardwalk is open here in the Monongahela National Forest. And this is August of 2024. They have a uh, parking area with sufficient parking. You have uh, a set of vault toilets down there. There's a picnic area a walk-in picnic area right across the street. It has been years since Melody and I have been out this trail. When we went, it was a boardwalk. Cranberry Glades in West Virginia is a unique and special place due to its rare ecosystem, which is more commonly found in Northern Canada. Here's what makes it stand out. A unique ecosystem. Cranberry Glades Botanical Area is a high altitude bog that resembles a northern tundra environment, which is rare for this far south in the United States. The bogs found here are acidic, which support a variety of unusual plant species. This area is home to many rare and unusual plants to include sundews, pitcher plants, mosses, and native cranberries. You'll also find orchids, ferns, and other species that have adapted to the bog's unique conditions. Wildlife. The bog provides habitat for various wildlife, including black bears, deer, and many bird species. The boardwalk, a half mile boardwalk trail, allows visitors to explore the glades without disturbing the delicate ecosystem. Cranberry Glades truly is a special place in my home state of West Virginia. Uh, they had, were supposed to be doing some renovation. As, as my understanding, this was closed. I got that information online, but we stopped up at the visitor center, and a worker up there said it was open, and apparently it is. Let's go check out Cranberry Glades Boardwalk. Here you go the right way, folks. Okay, so uh, it does say stay on boardwalk, and this does this makes a loop. And see, it says, "Oops, wrong way." So they want you going one direction, folks. So we'll be coming back that way, and here and there, we've got a nice little sign here: Cranberry Glades Botanical Area. 
And we're right here, and we're gonna proceed around this loop, and it's all boardwalk. Let's do this. Guys, don't be this person. <gasps> don't put your cigarette butts on the trail. Oh my goodness, a cigarette button in a forest? No, but it's just, you know, uh, an animal can come up and eat it. You know, <laughs> that's just not right, guys. And you're in the forest. Don't, don't do that. Public service comment by Nature Melody. Well, these are pretty. I'm not sure what these are, but uh, it is a pretty flower. It is pretty out here, and Melody had just made a comment. It looks like uh, if they were doing reservation uh, renovations on the boardwalk, it doesn't look like it. So we haven't seen any new boardwalk yet, but uh, it is pretty out here. So this is... Uh, I love all the pine. Just uh, soak that pine in for a moment, folks. Beautiful. There's a lot of backpacking in this area. Um, I've previously did a lot of backpacking, but uh, I had some health challenges here in the last year, and I don't think it's advisable to be doing any overnight backpacking. There's bees right there, be careful. According to this, the best time to come and see the cranberries open is in the fall. In the fall. Yep. Oh, look at this. In the fall, the brilliant red berries are much more visible. I need to show you something. I can't figure out what this is here. Watch the bees. Look at this white. Huh. Oh, well, there are bees over there. But what is that white stuff? And it's on the ground, too. I think I'll zoom in instead of walking over there with the, with the bees. But I can't figure out what I that don't, is. I don't know what that white stuff is. Hmm. But whatever the white stuff is, the bees... Oh, you know what? There's black stuff on the leaves, and it looks like the bees are going for the black stuff. Huh. Why don't you go touch it and see what it feels like? <laughs> I think when we were in yeah, I yeah. Remember seeing all the red. It was in the fall when we were here. We'll have to come back in the fall. This is August 2024. And that trip was probably, I'm thinking, maybe 15 years ago. So this is a, a good area. You can kind of see, because up in Dolly Sods, they have uh, these cranberries in the marsh area. And down in here, you could see where the cranberries would be growing. There's no cranberries in there now. But this would all be like a cranberry bog in here. And... Uh, it's a unique environment here in West Virginia. Well, well, see, it, uh, it pays to put boots on the ground, folks, because they did do some renovation out here. U.S. Forest Service, yes, sure, they surely did. This is new boardwalk right here. You can see how it was sinking down. So yeah, 
renovation. We found it. What's this say? For Pete's sake. So, it's up here. I don't want to step off the trail, but there are these. Here's, there's one right here. You see that plant right there? It kind of looks like some kind of cotton. There's one a little bit closer right here. Let me zoom in on it. So I'm wondering what the heck that is. But they're, they're all over in here, sprinkled. You can see them over in here too. There's a bunch of them. See them, the little white dots going through here. But even in the summertime, this is pretty. And this will probably light up with some yellows in the reds in the fall. There's backpacking trails just up the road here. In fact, uh, there's a backpacking trail that makes a loop. I think it's like a maybe a five mile loop, six mile loop, seven mile loop, something like that. And uh, at one time I was gonna bring my youngest son Scott out here. Oh, look at this, we got a little tunnel going in here. I was gonna bring my son out here and do some backpacking, but uh, that's on hold for the moment. And I'm not getting any younger. But Melody and I do get out in our fifth wheel. There's another, there's another seating area here. And it looks like they built a nice little bench here, sitting bench, first one we've seen. So just beyond the sitting bench, you're gonna see U Creek. And uh, they got a little bit of water running down through there. So it appears this trail takes you into several different kinds of environment. Right now we're in a, like a marsh. You can see the water down in there. And then you have these lush ferns. All through here. It is a pretty walk. I absolutely love the pine in my home state of West Virginia. This is, uh, isn't that cool? And I can smell it. I wish you could get that. The smell of the pine on the video. Oh, now I can get a real close shot. There's an app that we could get. It's called Plant Finder, and it tells you what they are. Plant Finder. Yeah, so we might have to see, download that app. I think that's what it's called. That's a good shot of that. That's pretty darn neat. Isn't this gorgeous? This is really, really pretty. Yeah, it really transforms the environment as you progress on this very short boardwalk. See what I'm talking about? These, these pine trees. A lot of character. Got rhododendron in here. There's 
There's my little boy. Melody's always making friends. So you cross U Creek a second time on the boardwalk and check out these beautiful flowers that are sprinkled through here. Aren't those pretty? I'm telling you what, if you're in the plants, this is quite, this is quite the uh, treat coming out this trail. Look at this. This is beautiful. I, I ran into these in Elkins along the Shaver's Fork of the Cheat River. They're really pretty. I think it's the same species of flower. Very, very pretty. Yeah. So if you come out to this portion of the Monongahela National Forest, you really don't want to miss Cranberry Glades Botanical Area and this short boardwalk. Look at all this color in August of 2024. And so many different environments you go through. Here we have the these trees that are have died with the pine backdrop. Uh, you have like a water bog. This is just really something. You have all these yellows. The number of flowers we've seen has have just been amazing. <laughs> 